Hey there fellow bass players around the world. Welcome to my third bass lesson. If you've enjoyed these lessons and would be interested in taking private lessons with me, I'm now offering those via Zoom. There's a link below in the description box that you can click on for more information. For today's bass lesson, I'm going to show you how to play a walking bass line over a 12 bar blues. Now, walking bass lines are very essential to your development as a bass player because it's going to teach you how to navigate the neck and play with rhythm. So it's really important that you learn how to play these walking bass lines. Now, as I said, we're going to be playing these bass lines over a 12 bar blues. If you don't know what a 12 bar blues is, I'm going to explain that right now to you. Sometimes, as musicians, we interchange the word bars with measures. But we're basically talking about the same thing. These are measures right here, and technically, these vertical lines right here are bars, and the bars separate the measures. But when we say a 12 bar blues, we're basically saying it has 12 measures to it. And we can count the measures right here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's what we mean by 12 bar blues. Now we're going to be playing in 4-4 four, four time. So what does that mean? That means each measure is going to have four beats. So we're going to count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's real simple stuff. Now let's dig in a little further. All right, before we start the lesson, let's tune up. I am tuned to standard tuning, A440. So here's an A. Here's a D, here's a G, and here's an E. For this 12 bar blues, we'll be playing in the key of G major. And G major is all the notes I circled in green. So it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. And that sounds like this. Alright, now when we're playing a 12 bar blues in the key of G major, the guitar player is going to be playing three chords. He's going to be playing the G, the C, and the D, which is called the 1, the 4, and the 5. You might have heard that before. <clears throat> now whenever that guitar player changes chords, <clears throat> we're going to be landing on the chord with him. And you'll see how we do that in a second. Um, what I want to do now is I want to take two measures at a time, and we'll play them slow together. So the first measure is going to be G, B, D, E, G, B, D, E, and then G, E, D, B, G, E, D, B. So we're walking up, and then we're coming back down. So that sounds like this, one, two, three, four. Measures 3 and 4 are played exactly the same. So let's play measures 1 through 4 together. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is where the guitar player is going to change chords on measure 5. He's going to play a C chord, and we're going to land on the C with him. What we're going to play is C, open E, G, open A, and then C, E, F, F sharp. Now you might say, Steve, F isn't in the key of G major, and that's all right because we're just passing by, we're walking through, and that's going to add color to what we're playing. And when you go up half steps like this, that's called going up chromatically. So that's what we're going to do. So let's play measure 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> 7 and 8 we'll play now. So that's G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B. So G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B. Exactly the same. 
same as measures one and two. So. Now, the guitar player is going to switch to the five chord, the D, which is right here. So, for when he's on the D chord, we're going to play D, F sharp, A, B, D, F sharp, A, B. Then he's going to switch to the C chord, and we're going to play C, E, F, F sharp. C, E, F, F sharp. So, let's play measures 9 and 10 together. One, two, three, four. And now we get to a measure 11. He's going to switch to the G. We're going to go there with him. We're going to play G, B, C, C sharp. G, B, C, C sharp. Again, C sharp isn't in the key of G major, but it's going to sound good. It's going to sound good walking up chromatically. Add some color. So G, B, C, C sharp, G, B, C, C sharp. And then the guitar player is going to land on the five chord, which is D. This is also called the turnaround. And we're going to play D, E, F, F sharp. So let's play 11 and 12 together. One, two, three, four. second to settle in if you have to rewind, rewind it. But let's play the full 12 measures now together. I'll put a drum machine on for some accompaniment. We'll keep it nice and slow at 110 beats per minute. And just focus on getting it smooth. Alright? You're going to have an 8 count and then we'll start with measure 1. until you get nice and smooth and you feel comfortable with it. Now let's play this section over here. Now the chord changes in this section are exactly as the chord changes we just played. We're just going to mix up the notes in our walking bass line a little bit to make it more interesting. If we played the exact same thing we played over here over and over again, it's going to get stagnant and it's going to get stale. So I want to show you how to mix it up a little bit. So let's take it from measures uh, 11 and 12 over here and we'll work our way up over here. So we have G, B, C, C sharp, D, E, F, F sharp. G, B, C, C sharp, D, E, F, F sharp. So we're working our way up to that G. Okay, so when we get to this G, we're going to play G, E, D, B, G, E, D, B, and then G, B, D, E. G, B, D, E. So let's play those two measures right there. One, two, three, four. Let's continue. G, E, D, B. G, E, D, B. G, B, D, C sharp. G, B, D, C sharp. Now that C sharp is going to add some color and it's going to sound nice when we change chords to that C. So let's play these two measures right there. One, two, three, four. Sounds kind of nice, right? So when we get down to the C, we're playing C, E, G, A, C, E, G, A. And then C, E, F, F sharp. C, E, F, F sharp. And then we're back to the G chord. G, B, D, E. G, E, D, B. I'm going to switch 
that D chord here, D, F sharp, D, C sharp. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to go D, F sharp, D, C sharp. Kind of nice, right? Walking down to that C. C, E, F, F sharp. And then C, um, I'm sorry, G, B, C, C sharp. sharp and then we're back on the G so if we play that together right here we'll take it from there one two three four and smooth. Let's try going a little faster now. Now I'm going to bump up the tempo to 200 beats per minute and I'm going to add a little guitar in there so it'll be a little bit more musical and uh, we'll see how you do. Now you're going to have an eight count coming in and then we'll be off to the races. So here we go. slow and gradually build them up. Now we're going to do it one more time, but
But this time I'm going to pull the bass out entirely. So all the bass is up to you. You'll be playing with just guitar and drums. Here we go. practice walking bass lines the more creative you'll get. Practice what I gave you for now to help familiarize yourself with walking but then as you get more comfortable with it explore different ideas try different notes and different patterns this way you have more to draw from when you're improvising with a band. I hope you enjoyed the lesson that's it for me for now as always please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.